I think with me over the phone to be shedding more light on Egypt's 2023 in the sixth edition being inaugurated by His Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is Dr. Osama Kamel, the former Minister of Petroleum. Thank you very much for being with us tonight on the Daily Debate. Hello, good evening. Good evening to you too, sir. Thank you very much for being with us uh, tonight on uh, the program. I will be starting first with the importance of having Egypt in Egypt for the sixth time, for the sixth consecutive year, and being inaugurated by President Abdel Fattah Hassisi consistently for the past couple of years. Hello, sorry, I don't hear well. Yes, Dr. Osama, can you hear me? Now I hear. Yes, I was asking about the importance of having Egypt here in Egypt for the sixth consecutive year and being inaugurated at the same time by His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Hassisi consistently every year. Yeah. Uh, it, it is well known that such an event promotes for the uh, business, the oil and gas business in Egypt. Yes. And the presence of His Excellency, the President, of course, gives a very strong uh, sign to the investors on the stability of the investment in the petroleum sector. So it's, 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 a, it's a good gathering, it's a, it's a good event to have such gathering, such selective gathering from the international oil companies as well as the other business related companies in such an event which gives good idea and, and clear picture about the situation in Egypt, the stability, the political stability, the security stability, as well as the investment stability in such business, in the oil and gas. Yes. And on the other hand, it gives some indirect uh, enhancement to the related industries like the tourism. You know, we were not that clever in the uh, conference industry like some other surrounding uh, the countries, which are very much benefiting from, from having such events held on a regular basis. The, now Egypt is on the agenda of the international oil conferences, like the German conference, like the Dubai conference, which are related to the oil and gas. Yes, the officials and the participants have said that uh, the Egypt's 2023 is uh, one of the most important, if not the most important, uh, event for petroleum and oil industries in North Africa and the Mediterranean. Yes, it is. Yes. Can, can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. Dr. Osama. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm on the way and there is a Never lot mind. of uh, interruption. I'm sorry. Never mind. So I was asking about uh, Egypt as being one of the most important events in this field uh, for North Africa and the Mediterranean. What does this say about the strength of Egypt in the field of uh, mineral resources in petroleum and in gas industries? We have two international conferences that are held currently in Egypt. The first is related to the uh, oil and gas industry only, and the other is related to the mineral industry, which was integrated by His Excellency the President the last year. So having such events, such gathering, helps the local companies working in that field to benefit from promoting its activities and its, in, and, and its investment opportunities to the outer investors, either Arab investors or foreign investors. So it's, it's a good gathering and it's a good opportunity for all the investors in Egypt hmm. to benefit from such events. Yes, and finally, Doctor, the importance of the energy sector being related with the importance of climate change, preserving uh, the climate and the environment for the future as Egypt has just uh, hosted the COP27 in the month of November in Sharm el-Sheikh. How do you think they could be going hand in hand uh, in the future? Uh, as, you, as you know, the, the, uh, the energy is a main pivot for the economic growth and development everywhere. Yes. And especially nowadays, the green energy is the pivot and the trend for all the future business. So we we'll find everybody here and there are focusing on establishing new bases for the green energy. Egypt is very much uh, qualified to have such uh, green energy projects, having its uh, solar uh, systems uh, being uh, under uh, development. We have the biggest uh, projects in, in the Middle East and Africa now, and yes. then, then 
generating two gigawatt hours. And we are also having a lot of, of, of water available from the sea because we have more than 3,000 kilometers of, of, of sea water. So hmm. we can develop such business in Egypt easily. Yes, uh, Dr. Osama Kamel, the former Minister of Petroleum, thank you very much for being with us tonight on the Daily Debate over the phone. We will be heading to the second report of the Daily Debate for tonight, and it comes from Egypt as well, 2023, the sixth edition. And the statements made by the Minister of Petroleum and the Mineral Resources, or the Minister of Oil and Mineral Resources, uh, Engineer Tariq al mulla about developing the industry here in Egypt. We'll be having more details in the upcoming report, so stay tuned. Petroleum Minister Tariq al Mulla has announced the national plan for the petrochemical industry and that a new strategy is being put in place to develop industry which will be implemented until 2035. Al Mulla said 11 new projects to produce petrochemicals with a total investment cost of $19 million are being studied and implemented. The minister added that the ministry is keen on supporting petrochemical industry and making it more suitable for developments and changes at the international level in the coming years. He said that the strategy is keen on continuing increasing the added value of the activities and projects of the production of petrochemical in Egypt. Meanwhile, the private sector holds the largest share, the private sector's investments about 70%, while the public sector holds the rest 30%, which is divided between the investments of each of the economic bodies and public companies. The development plan highlighted the targeted projects during the new year in the petroleum and mineral resources sector on the agenda of the Ministry's General Office and its affiliated bodies. The ministry's planned projects include replacing and renewing about 15 strategic petroleum reservoirs throughout the Republic and establishing a network of fixed fuel pipelines east of the canal. The Egyptian General Petroleum Corporation will put on its plan during the new year projects to renew gas pressure treatment units, replace and renew industrial security and environmental protection systems, replace and renew and rehabilitate the national network of gas lines.